Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to subscribe. Today's episode of the blog is this little guy. I don't know if I showcased him before, but inside this case is the greatest invention that always keeps me safe when I'm on the roads. It's nothing too special to someone average, but to me, it is a lifesaver. This is my binocular. I'm not sure if I've ever showcased him on the channel before, but you look through him like this, and then it tells you what's ahead of you. And then if you want to readjust, you just turn this back like that. And that's how you do your monocular, which is just amazing. So why would I need to use a monocular? It's to help me to see the, uh, the walking sign across the street, you know, your traffic lights. You got the, the white little symbol that tells you it's safe to cross. And then you got your uh, yellow, red, and blue, uh, green lights, rather. And this is the guy that I use when I'm out and about. So if you see me out and about town and you see I'm looking through this, it most likely means I'm at a traffic light. Now, without this guy, I always make a mistake when it comes to uh, what's called mobility training. Maybe it's time I get a mobility trainer again. But for now, this helps me walk around the streets without fear when I'm uh, walking and I'm needing to cross. Not every button has a beeper. So not every light will tell you audibly when it's safe. Most of the time you have to go by your own gut or if you're fortunate enough, get a monocular and look across the street to tell you. I like using this much better than my ears because sometimes I assume it's safe. I don't hear any vehicles. And then when I do decide to cross the street, what do you know? There's a vehicle. <laughs> and then I've almost been hit multiple times. In fact, I struggle to walk almost every day without this because I'm always afraid I'm gonna mess up or there's times when the vehicle is turning and I don't hear the signal. I don't hear the traffic because there's not enough traffic. So in those situations, I use this. It is my monocular. So I just thought I'd share with you my piece of technology. It is monocular. It's basically like a binocular, but you only get one of them. You don't need two of them. And most of the time you have one good eye and one bad eye. So my eye happens to always be uh, my uh, left. So that's how I know, right? My eyes, I kind of use this guy more or less. What about you? Do you have a monocular or do you have enough vision that you're able to cross the street? If you're completely blind, how do you do your mobility without panicking? I always panic. It gives me quite the anxiety. I often ask my wife to drive me to where I need to go because it's the easier alternative. If I'm on my own, now that I have this in my life, I am not as scared. Winter is coming soon. In fact, we're supposed to get a blizzard this weekend. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> I do like winter more because I can actually see the cross lights in the dark. Can't see them in the daytime because there's just too many, uh, there's too much scarring on my cornea, too much white stuff. So that really gets in the way of things. My name is J.R. Bjarns and if you found this video helpful or educational or you want to keep in touch, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to tell YouTube, hey, this guy's got the stuff, let's get him up there, be sure to like the video as well and share with your, share with me your stories down in the comments. All right, well, you guys take care and let me know what you think of the camera quality. I'm trying out the iPhone 12 Pro and so far, uh, I like it. It's got, the video is just so bright.